Okay, so P5.1 alternating currents. So there are two types of current, and the one that you're used to so far is the one that comes out of batteries. And the ones that come out of batteries is called direct current. So if you look at how the voltage against time changes for direct current, it never changes. So if that was a 12 volt battery, for example, that would be 12 volts of direct current otherwise known as DC. Okay, 12 volts direct current, it doesn't change. That's the one that you used to say fast, so that's batteries. Now, it gets a little bit harder when we start to talk about the main supply. Okay, so now, if I look at my graph, the volts, against time, what we find is, we find that it actually changes, okay, so, and the maximum volts in the UK, in a house, is going to be about 3 to 5 volts, and the flip side of that is the exact opposite, so that's minus 325 volts. So they're the peaks and the troughs. And the time it takes is roughly 0 0.01 seconds to do half a wavelength, which means 0 0.02 seconds to do a full wavelength. Remember, a full envelope is a peak and a trough. Okay, so all the way up, all the way back down again. Okay, it's a full wavelength. Now, um, and if we know that frequency equals one divided by time period, And you know that the time period was 0 0.02, so 1 by 0.02, and that equals 50 hertz. So the UK means has a frequency 50 hertz. And what that means is, it means it changes direction every 0 0.1 seconds, and it takes 0 0.02 seconds to do a full cycle. Okay, so. And the reason for this is because if you want to transport your electricity across large distances, you need step up and step down transformers. So if I explain what they are now. So you have your power station, generates the electricity, and then it sends it to something called a step up transformer. and then it sends it into the pylons and the cables. So the bit that holds up the cables is called the pylon, the cables are the bit in between, which is known as the national grid. So all of that together is known as the national grid. And then when it goes into your house, it goes into something called a step down transformer. And then it goes into your house. But the question is, what's going on? Okay, so pylon cables, national grid, step up, step down. But what do I mean by step up, step down? What is being stepped up? What is being stepped down? Okay, so what step up transformer does is it steps up the voltage okay so this one increases voltage and decreases current and the step down does the exact opposite it decreases voltage and it increases current and you know this already because if you see these cables you know there might be a sign nearby it's got the lightning bolt and that sign will say danger 
high voltage. So you know that the cables must have been stepped up and the voltage must have been increased because you, you're used to seeing these signs which say danger high voltage. I think I've drawn my sign upside down. Okay, And then it steps down to go into the house to make it safe again for you to use. And that's where it goes into the mains. And the mains gives you an equivalence power of 240 volts. Okay. Um, sorry, not 240, 230. Slightly, slightly lower. Into the house, 230. And that would be, if you took the average of this, that would give you 230. And that's why I was talking about the maximum being 325. So if you took the average, it would be 240. 230, sorry, not 240. Okay, so. And why do we do that? Why do we step it up and step it down? Well, it's to do with this bit here, it's to do with the national grid. So what you need to know is, you need to know that the greater the current, the more energy is lost. So the greater the current, the more energy is lost. So the step up transformer decreases current to reduce the amount of energy that's lost in the national grid. Okay, so that's why it does it. The greater the energy, the greater the current, the more energy is lost. 